Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Anaya back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my pet peeves. I just wanted to do something other than makeup for a change. So I'm just going to take a break today and I'm going to be doing a video telling you guys some of my pet peeves. I'm just going to jump right in. I have them on my phone right here. They're in no particular order. I just kind of wrote them down as I thought about them. So, oh, also I just wanted to say support black art, okay? Support black art. This hat right here. Y'all see this hat? Ooh, is it in there? Ah, y'all see this hat? I got this hat last summer, so, and I looked on the site, and they don't have it anymore, but I will still link, like, where I got this from, because it is a black-owned brand, you know, it's made by black artists. This hat was hand-painted, so, yeah, I'll leave that description, I'll leave that link down below in the description box, so, yeah. Starting out with number one, one of my pet peeves is um, older people feeling like I'm obligated to speak to them when I like walk somewhere um and what I mean by that is like you know how like let's say you're just somewhere and an older person like you walk by them or like you walk into like the same area as them and they're like oh so you're not gonna speak that's rude well I'm just like who are you like what makes you think that I'm just obligated to speak to you like I don't that just, I've never understood that like and I mean I guess it depends like if I'm walking to somebody's house like if, if I'm in their house then yeah that is rude to not speak but like for example I remember I was at work one day and I walked in and I walked into the break room and it was some of my older co-workers were there and they was like I didn't talk to them I didn't speak to them I just walked in you know started putting my stuff up whatever they was like oh so you're not gonna speak who oh. I'm just like, no, who are you? I came here to work, not to see you. Like what, I just feel like what makes you think that people should be obligated to speak to you? I mean, do I think it's a nice thing to do? Yeah, sure. But I feel like me not talking to you doesn't make me a rude person. Like, especially if we're not even friends. Like if we don't, if we don't say hey to each other and we don't talk and why do I need to speak to you? Who are you? What are you doing for me? Nothing. Oh, okay. My next pet peeve is being asked dumb questions. Like, I just don't like that. Like, why are you asking me stupid questions? Like, are you dumb? Like, I don't even know how to explain this one. It's just like kind of tough explanatory. Like, don't ask me no dumb questions. My third pet peeve, and this is one that like happens a lot and it really irritates me is when people try to speak to me over loud music. Like, and it's not even just loud music, just loud, like a loud noise in general that they can control. Like for example, you'll be in a car with somebody and they'll have their music up loud and they'll be trying to talk to you over it and they'll be yelling and then you say what you gotta say and they be like, huh? What, I didn't hear you. How about you turn the music down then? Like that's just common sense. Why are you trying to talk to me over this loud music instead of just turning it down? And the same thing goes for, um, like, if you're watching TV with somebody and they're trying to yell over the TV instead of just turning it down. Or let's say you want to phone with somebody and they're in the car and they're like, oh, bro, I can't hear you, you know what I'm saying? It's windy. Roll your window up. Like, stop being dumb. My fourth pet peeve is sugarcoating. And what I mean by this, like, sugarcoating. Like, I, that's, that's, you know what sugarcoating is. Like, don't try to go all around and like butter up the truth just to say it like for example let's say i do somebody's makeup and they don't like it don't be like oh well you know i i really like your makeup and i think you're a great artist and you know i really do love your work i just think that you know i might fit no just be like you know what i think you're a good artist and everything i just didn't really like the way my makeup came out boom like where do you sugarcoating it and going all around and buttering it, like, it don't take all that. Just say what you gotta say and keep it pushing. Like, I don't like when people sugarcoat things. That's really annoying to me. My fifth pet peeve is, like, the chewing noise. That irritates me so much. Like, it just makes my ears, like, ooh, it just makes my ears itch. Like, <laughs> I do not like that noise at all. And it's like, I get it. You can't really help it. But I feel like some people, they be doing it on purpose or, like, the way they like the purpose I don't know how to explain it like 
not that they're doing it on purpose like they're purposely trying to make the noise but like the way that they're chewing is making the noise and they're chewing like that on purpose if that makes sense my sixth pet peeve is complaining i don't like when people complain over things that are not that deep like you ever be in a line at a grocery store and like let's say it's really busy let's say it's like a holiday and it's busy everybody's trying to buy some food everybody's trying to you know get their little party stuff going on and it's not a lot of cashiers so the lines are long why it's always that one person that gotta be like oh this line is so long but what's going on can they get somebody a like if you really feel that impatient then why don't you just leave because you complaining isn't going to do anything it's not going to change anything what are you doing like you're just being annoying at this point or like those people like they go to mcdonald's complaining about the food as if they in a five-star restaurant like what are you complaining for shut up like that is so annoying to me like you just it's some people that just gotta complain about everything and like i get it sometimes things are sometimes things do need to be improved but every little thing is not worth you complaining over like it's not that deep it's not that deep if you don't like the way something is being done then remove yourself from the situation or shut up my seventh pet peeve is lying what are you lying for like that's one thing that that's like i'm a very forgiving person but that's the one thing like i'll never not that I won't ever forgive you for it. Well, no, I probably won't forgive you for that. I'm sorry. That just is what it is. I don't like liars. I hate being lied to. Like, I just feel like, what's the point? Like, how is that benefiting you or me by lying? And then the crazy thing is that I've never really been lied to about anything that I wouldn't understand. That's, I think that's why it irritates me so much because I'm a very understanding person anyway. So it's like, if you just tell me the truth and you tell me your reason behind whatever it is that you did or whatever the case was, I'm probably going to understand. Unless it's just like dead wrong, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I'm probably going to understand. So it's like, you lying to me is insulting to me because it's just like, what are you lying for? And I especially have people lie about things that they can't even keep a secret. Because now I'm really offended because it's like, you lied to me and then I find out the truth two days later, like what what was the point like number eight is people talking to me when i have headphones in or when i'm on the phone why like clearly i have these headphones in because i'm trying to listen to something and i'm trying to jam out and then here you come interrupting me for what to tell me about something i don't care about oh okay and it's like people never if you think about it people never like interrupt you with your headphones in for something important it's always, oh, hey, did you hear what happened to so-and-so? Or, hey, hmm, how are you? Where's you? How's your day? Girl, what? I got these headphones in for a reason. Thank you. Bye. You ever, like, walk in, like, walk into somewhere and people, you got your headphones in, and they seem like, hey, 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 hey. Number nine, we're getting close to the end. This pet peeve is something that, if you know me personally, <laughs> like you know like i'm dead serious about this one i don't like people that are racist homophobic transphobic islamophobic sexist or xenophobic i don't like people that are any of those things because i just feel like you're dumb what is the point and what what is the point of disliking somebody because of their race or their sex or their gender identity or their sexuality or their religion like or where they were born or the fact they were born somewhere different than you were like what is the point of that like you have no reason you have no reason like i don't get it and like if you're somebody like that then me and you just could not be around each other because that really irritates me like i don't understand why people feel these kind of ways anyway because like i'm pretty sure everybody got you know stuff going on in their life that you have more to worry about than to be being hateful for no reason like i don't I don't get it. And number 10, the last pet peeve on the list is people that complain or not complain, but like they worry about things that don't matter, if that makes sense. So for example, this morning, okay, let me just take it all the way back. So usually I'm supposed to wash the dishes at my house every night, right? But last night I didn't wash them. So when I got up this morning, that's when I did it. So this morning I'm downstairs washing the dishes 
and my mom comes down to me and she's like why you didn't wash the dishes last night does it matter does it matter because I mean really regardless of what reason I have they didn't get washed so does it matter I don't like people that always are worried about things that they can't change or things that have already happened like does it it already happened oh why did you tell someone so that I, it doesn't matter why because I did it next oh why you didn't why you didn't do that does it matter I didn't do it <laughs> like I don't like people that's always asking questions like that that's dumb like why are you so stuck on the past or what did or didn't happen like I just feel like we have more to worry about than that like why do you care does it matter why the ice cream machine is down at McDonald's no because regardless of what the reason is the ice cream machine is down does it really matter why Remy Ma won no it doesn't it doesn't matter because at the end of the day she won like Whew, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter stop worrying about it because it doesn't matter so anyways to wrap it up those are my 10 pet peeves well not all of them but those are some of my pet peeves like I said they were in no order I just wrote them down as I thought of them so it's not like one was like the most annoying intent with the least it's just you know I just wrote them down as it came to me and I might make another video like this sometime in the future I feel like it could be a nice little series or whatever but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As well as to follow me on all of my social medias, which are always down below. And I will see you in my next video.